This next song is called, Are You Waiting for the Stirring of the Water? That is, Are You Waiting for the Stirring of the Water? Coming from scriptures, John 5, 1 through 9, John 5, 8 through 16, Hebrews 11 and 1, 1 John 5 and 14. Um, but our reading will come from a couple of places. Um, that first one will come from... Uh, Hebrews 11 and 1. It says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. And then the second reading uh, uh, will come from, uh, we're not going to read that whole uh, chapter there, but I would encourage you to go back and read chapter 5 uh, if you want all the details that talks about the, the pool of Bethesda. Um, but we're just going to read the uh, the third and the fourth verse. Uh, uh, the third verse says, And these lay, talking about uh, the pool of Bethesda, the, the five porches at the pool of Bethesda, and said, and, and these lay a great multiple, multitude of impotent folk, uh, blind, halt, withered, um, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever uh, then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatever disease he had. So thank God, thank God. As the story goes, there was a, uh, a man that had been waiting at the pool of Bethesda for 38 long years. He had an infirmity and for 38 long years. Uh, Jesus, when Jesus came on the scene, uh, Jesus made a visit at this place where people would lay out the lame and the sick. Uh, they would be laid out and and uh, everyone knew that the angel would come down and stir the water. And they knew that after that stirring, if they got in, they would be healed. Uh, so they would lay all the sick folk there. This man had been trying for 38 long years. And Jesus came there and Jesus asked this man, will you be made whole? And the man uh, started giving excuses and saying, that, well, uh, you know, it wasn't really an excuse. He had an infirmity, you know, so he, he really couldn't get in the water. So before he could get in, someone would beat him to it and they would get the healing and not him. But he didn't give up. For Can you imagine for 38 years being brought back, take me back, take me back, take me back, being brought there for 38 years and not receiving a healing. So there's something about persistency. God and moves and God turns and looks. Uh, for someone that refuses to give up. The man wouldn't give up. So Jesus arrived on the scene and Jesus healed the man. But nowadays we have the power of Holy Ghost living within us. The, the Spirit of God is here. And we don't have to wait for an angel to come down and stir the water. Our faith stirs the water. Our faith stirs uh, the presence of God and invokes the presence of God uh, when, we, when we believe on the Word. So we can simply uh, uh, lay claim to God's word, believe, and be, uh, like the scriptures say, ask and keep on asking, seek and keep on seeking, knock and keep on knocking, and believe in God for whatever miracle that we need. In Jesus' name, amen. Are you waiting at the pool, the pool of Bethesda? Waiting for the stirring of the water The sick is waiting for the stirring Waiting for the stirring of the water Poverty is waiting for the stirring Waiting for the stirring of the water Oppression, oppression Waiting for the stirring Waiting for the stirring of the water Waiting for the stirring of the water. Empty souls are waiting for the stirring. Waiting for the stirring. Waiting for the stirring. Waiting for the stirring of the water. Make it not solve a man's own problem. It takes the stirring of the water. There was a man waiting at the water. Had an infirmity for 38 years Until he met the one that could make him more. Met Jesus at the pool of Bethesda Jesus told the man at Bethesda Rise, take up your bed and walk And believe the 
man was made whole. The presence of God makes all the difference. Your faith and boast, the stirring of the water. Your faith stirs the presence of God. Are you still waiting for the stirring? The faith put the word in action. Like the man at the pool of Bethesda. Jesus is there at your point of need. Jesus is ready to do great and mighty things. Put your faith, put your faith and trust in Him. Are you waiting for the stirring? Waiting for the moving, waiting for the moving, waiting for the stirring of the water. Your faith invokes the stirring of the water. Now take up your bed, and take up your bed, and take up your bed and walk. Your faith stirs the presence of God. Faith moves the hand of God. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for. In the assurance of what we don't see. Don't we ever give up on praying and believing. Jump into the miracle water. The cross makes the stirring possible. By his strife you were in our hill. Now take up your bed and take up your bed and take up your bed in Take up your bed and take up your bed and take up your bed and